President, HGR 27 supports the Alaskanization of the Bering Sea fishing fleet. <coughs> Specifically, it supports the relocation of the home port for the CDQ fishing fleet from Seattle to Seward. Most people aren't that familiar with what CDQs are, but back in the 1990s, uh, the Congressional delegation convinced Congress to go ahead and allow for the creation of CDQs in the Bering Sea, of uh, Bering Sea fisheries. What CDQ stands for is the Community, Community Development Quota. What this does is it gives villages in Western Alaska a stake in their resource extraction that's going off just off their shores. Six CDQ groups were created, representing 65 Bering Sea communities. The CDQs have to reinvest their profits in Bering Sea communities, and this is an economic development for rural Alaska. The Coastal Villages Regional Fund is the largest Alaska-owned, Alaska-based fisheries company. They have an impressive fleet of ships that range all the way up to 350 feet long and have a projected uh, a $75 million in seafood sales during 2011. At this time, Mr. President, with their home fleet in Seattle, they spend five to $10 million a year in maintenance in Seattle. They spend $20 million in mortgage in Seattle. They spend $2 million just to fill their tanks one time in Seattle. As you look at those numbers, it quickly mounts up to over 30 to $35 million that we're bringing back to the state of Alaska by uh, encouraging them to uh, relocate the Seward. The Coastal Villages Regional Fund wants to bring these jobs to Alaska, and they should be commended. We should encourage this move. In conclusion, this is about economic development and benefiting our resources and diversifying our income, our, our economy. It's been a long goal, long-term goal to go ahead and Alaska nights that we so with that I urge support for House Joint Resolution 27. Thank you, Senator Olson.